Hi everyone, this is Sam from Rococo, and I'm super excited to welcome you to Rococo Studio. In this brief introduction, we're going to go over a few of the essential features of this software when you are recording motion capture data, including cleaning your locomotion data, creating walk cycles, and using the treadmill filter. Cleaning your locomotion data in particular is important and is crucial to achieve really good motion capture animation. Let's jump in. Okay, so before we can clean your locomotion data, we need to have an actual recording. I'm in Rococo Studio and I've started a new scene and paired my SmartSuit Pro with Studio. I'll add my actor profile and then drag my suit into the profile. For more information on the basics of setting up your suit, check out our website. Now we'll perform a straight pose to calibrate the system. Look straight ahead, keep your feet below your hips and your arms resting gently on your legs. Now that we're calibrated, I'm going to record some fast paced movement that we might need to clean. Okay, stop the recording and then double click on the take to review it. Okay, let's look through this. Oh yeah. So the beginning of the take looks pretty good already, but this little karate kick looks completely and obviously weird. This isn't anything like what we recorded, and that's because our locomotion data down here isn't accurate. This locomotion data tracks when your feet are in contact with the ground, and the data is visualized here with these green and blue bars. Each bar represents when your foot is in contact with the ground, green for your left foot and blue for your right foot. We can visualize this contact in the scene by clicking this little button by gizmos. 99% of the time when you notice something looking off with your motion capture, it is because this locomotion data isn't accurate. So the solution is just to clean the data. This is really easy. You simply go in and you slide these bars to correct them. Here, for example, the data says that both my right and left foot are in contact with the floor when I know I'm in the air. Let's delete these two bars. And then I'll also adjust my landing here. And then finally, I'll click Process Changes. You always click Process Changes whenever you make any changes to these filters. Now, when we play it back, the animation looks a thousand times better. Cleaning this data is a super important part of this workflow, and we recommend you do it for every mocap animation you create. Let me quickly clean the rest of this locomotion data. Now that that's done, we can look at the other filters we have for cleaning your animation, which you can access down here. Another really useful one is the foot IK filter. This filter will make sure your feet don't move whenever the locomotion data says they are in contact with the ground. This helps to eliminate any drifting feet, and we recommend using it on most animations. Okay, now let's create a walk cycle. In this scene, I've recorded myself doing a little zombie walk, as you can see here. Creating a walk cycle from this is super easy. First, I'll clean my mocap data like I normally would. Next, I'll select a loopable segment of this animation. So I'll use from this point right here, when my right foot comes off the ground, to when it comes off the ground the next time. If I hold down shift and click on the timeline, this segment will appear. 
and if I keep holding shift, I can change the in and out point. If you hold shift and then click these three little dots, you can make this segment loopable. Hit process changes and voila, you have a walk cycle. There you go, zombie walking. To have it be in place, just click the close loop button here and also start from origin. Now if you export this animation, you can loop it as many times as you want. Okay, finally we'll take a look at the treadmill filter. Sometimes Rococo Studio can have a difficult time with elevation, like stairs, or situations where there isn't a clear contact with the ground. In this animation, I lie down on the ground and I roll around. I could go back and try and re-record and make this better, but one solution could be just to use the treadmill filter instead. Go down to filters and enable treadmill. This will disable the locomotion system we were using before and lock your animation in place. As you can see, sometimes you can use the treadmill filter to get better results when recording more challenging animations. That's it for this introduction to Rococo Studio. Again, we recommend that you always clean your locomotion data and use the foot IK filter. Also, if you're ever having problems trying to record difficult animations, we recommend trying to use the treadmill filter, and we also hope you can use the walk cycle feature to create some cool animations. Check back in for more updates soon. Always make sure that you download the latest version of Rococo Studio, and post any questions in the comments down below, or always feel free to reach out directly to support at rococo.com. Our support team is fantastic and is always ready to help you out. Thanks so much and have fun creating more motion capture.